Cupid's been busy, and we've been following his arrows. Now we're back with some juicy news. Just recently, Brad Pitt arrived hand in hand with his girlfriend, Inez de Ramon, at the British Grand Prix. And all this while his kids are dropping his last name like dominoes. Drama? Much? The 60-year-old actor has been at the four-day event all weekend, but this is the first day he and de Ramon have been photographed together. Now that's a grand entrance. Earlier this year, a source told People magazine there was a natural progression in their romance, and guess what? The couple has moved in together. They were spending so much time together at Brad's that it just made sense for Inez to move in with him, an insider shared. Brad's very happy and loves spending time with her. Moving in together was a natural thing. Well, I was pretty excited. And here's the cherry on top. Brad is said to be 100% on board with starting over with De Ramon and has even told friends she would make a wonderful mother, according to a friend of the star. Because I like you so much. Brad said Inez is patient, easygoing, and has a great sense of humor. Sounds like she's got it all. Favorite gift to give. Favorite gift to give. Love. Now, can you imagine? More little pits running around. While the older ones are ditching the name, a friend of Pitt told Daily Mail, it's devastating for Brad that he basically had no relationship with his kids, but Inez has been a real source of comfort, and it's actually brought them closer together. Having more kids in his life is not out of the question. Inez is young, and Brad said he's 100% on board if she wants to have kids. He loves the idea of building a life with Inez, and nothing is off the table. What's wrong with taking care of a woman? She takes care of you. Since the divorce, Brad's dated but never seriously. This is the first serious relationship, and he couldn't be happier. And I have even more exciting news about Brad. While he's been turning heads at the British Grand Prix, guess what just got released? The trailer for his new Formula One racing movie. How am I supposed to make that safe? Who said anything about safe? In this adrenaline-packed film, Pitt steps in back with a fictional team. In a horrible crash, kind of craps out and disappears, and then is racing in other disciplines. Filming took place during this year's Grand Prix races, featuring 10 Formula One teams and their drivers, Harry Condon, Javier Bardem, and Tobias Menzies. F1 is directed by Joseph Kosinski, known for his work on Top Gun Maverick and produced by Pitt himself. This film is gearing up to be one epic ride, capture the speed and intensity of Formula One. You, you've never seen speed, you've never seen uh, uh, just the G-forces like this. It's, it's really, really exciting. And get this, Brad Pitt himself hit the track at Silverstone, driving those Formula One beasts for real. Now that's commitment to the role. So had you ever driven a racing car before on track? No, I bikes, more bikes. I spent the last 20 years on bikes on track, so I mean, that helped a lot. But let's put the races aside because there's nothing quite as thrilling as the pursuit of love. So. Let's get back to our lovebirds. Before their romance rumors started, Brad Pitt and Inez de Ramon had been in pretty serious relationships. We all know about the former couple goals that were Mr. and Mrs. Smith, right? Brad began dating Angelina Jolie in 2005 after his divorce from Jennifer Aniston. I don't want to say very much about that, except to say it was a very difficult time, and, and we are a family and we will always be a family. They tied the knot only in 2014 at their children's request. Then, two years later, the actress filed for divorce. By 2019, three years after the filing, the judge ruled the two legally single. I use for escape, to escape um, those kinds of, um, I guess, difficult feelings. I don't know how better to describe it. Over the last few years, Pitt and Jolie had been in ongoing negotiations regarding custody of their children and dividing their finances. Up until now, the former couple have been fighting nasty legal battles. However, it's not just Pitt who has experienced a divorce. De Ramon was previously married to the Vampire Diaries star Paul Wesley. They tied the knot in 2019 and kept a very low profile as a couple. In fact, we didn't know that the two were married until Nina Dobrev let the news slip in a podcast. Then we began seeing more of the now former Flames when they started posting each other on Instagram. In April 2022, however, after less than three years of marriage, Wesley and De Ramon quietly split. Even though his love life was the topic of many stories, Pitt kept a relatively low profile compared to his younger years. It was time for the Fight Club star to focus on himself and to immerse himself in things that made him happy and fulfilled. Well, I mean, on one hand, you know, you get older and you just get tired of, of 
protecting yourself or having any secrets. You know, you just want to get on with it. He did a lot of internal work after splitting with Angelina, and he is pretty focused on work and other new ventures right now, the anonymous source shared at the time. The tipper also said that Brad was trying to be more low-key about his personal life because he is tired of being judged for every move he makes. And then he and Inez fell in love. We're not implying that she and Brad are soulmates, but the development of this relationship is giving all the butterflies. On top of that, there were scandalous notes in the beginning stages of the blossoming romance like people thinking the 59-year-old stole Paul Wesley's girl. To clarify, he didn't. And they only started dating after Inez's divorce. Oh, how we love celebrity romances. We mentioned that Inez and Paul had quietly split up. Emphasis on quietly. Just like when they married, only the pair's close circles knew about the divorce. Speculations that they had split started when Paul was seen without his wedding ring and was spotted frolicking around Italy with a model. Only in September did a rep confirm the divorce to the media. At the same time, Brad had been reportedly dating Emily Ratajkowski. However, the Meet Joe Black star was spotted in November 2022 with a brunette on his arm, and it wasn't M. Pitt gets people excited and talking, even when he's being more private about his life. The Once Upon a Time, in Hollywood, Star was photographed with Inez at a Bono concert in Los Angeles. At one point, Brad pulled her into a hug as they walked outside the venue. This was when rumors started that the two were dating. Even though both have yet to make any public statements about the relationship, anonymous sources have been sharing insights. When the two were pictured at the concert, they claimed to be just friends. News Online spoke to an insider who denied any romance between the jewelry designer and the Golden Globe winning actor. This has been assumed in the past and has been wrong, they said. Another source close to Pitt told the New York Post that the actor had known De Ramon for a while as a friend. He spent time with her before. She's someone he knows and trusts and feels safe with, the source shared. However, since their first tabloid mention as a couple, it seems that the two are only getting closer. Imagine having a friends to lovers story with Brad Pitt. Oh, to be Inez De Ramon. A month after the Bono concert, the blossoming love story was developing in the media. Us Weekly magazine discussed the possible courtship with an anonymous reference. Brad is smitten with Inez, but they aren't officially dating, the source said. The insider added that the movie star wasn't expecting to find someone so extraordinary like Inez, but they were becoming great friends and would see what happens from there. Then came the birthday celebrations. Both Pitt and De Ramon were born in December and celebrated their birthdays together. While attending the actor's birthday bash at an Italian restaurant in Los Angeles, they were photographed in the same car. According to People magazine, the two were very cute and flirty. You could tell that she makes him happy, a source mentioned. By the end of December, an insider confirmed to Us Weekly magazine that Brad and Inez are officially an item. They really enjoy each other's company and are having a great time in the early stages of an early relationship, but are still getting to know each other, they said. The movie star even took his girlfriend to a film premiere. They might not have walked the red carpet together, but according to People magazine, the lovers were seen mingling at the after party with arms wrapped around each other. An anonymous source close to the vice president of Anita Co. Jewelry shared a statement with People magazine at the time. The insider said the actor was clearly very into De Ramon, given he brought her to his premiere. Brad and Inez really cannot get enough of each other. The lovebirds entered 2023 at each other's sides. They spent the New Year's Eve enjoying a romantic getaway in Cabo San Lucas. Page Six released pictures of the two as they enjoyed their vacation. The new flames were seen relaxing and happy in matching blue swimwear. Then, another source came through in January with more information about the couple. They hinted that Pitt might be ready for things to get serious. Brad has gone from seeing this as a fling to wanting to spend all his time with her, the source explained, adding, the other girls he was flirting with or considering as dates have all gradually disappeared. Since returning from their Mexican getaway, Entertainment Tonight Online has reported that the pair are excited about where things are headed. An insider shared some info about the couple with the publication. They have a lot in common, and Brad likes how chill and low-key Inez is, they elaborated. Another insider shared with the same publication about why this pairing works well. The connection comes from many shared interests, including a love of art. They connect over a variety of interests, and he thinks she is very smart, the insider explained. Inez is worldly, cultured, cool, and down-to-earth, and Brad really likes that about her, they added. The couple have been spending a lot of time together. They've attended art shows and often hang out at Brad's home. 
According to the New Zealand Herald newspaper, Inez doesn't do any cooking. The Troy actor is the designated chef. They share dinner over candlelight and sometimes go skinny dipping in the ocean alongside Brad's mansion. There have even been rumors that the jewelry designer has moved into her Bose pad. The same source told the publication that the lady made the first move. The businesswoman is not intimidated by this Hollywood legend at all. Brad's number one issue when meeting girls is that his fame gets in the way, the insider noted. Although he hasn't experienced that issue with Inez, she's super confident and goes after what she wants, the source revealed, adding, she likes Brad and didn't make that a secret, which he found refreshing. Love is in the air for Brad Pitt and Inez de Ramon. The pair seem oh so smitten with each other, and we couldn't be happier for them. Given that their romance is based on shared levels of intellect and interests, they seem to have a good thing going. Although, with the ongoing legal battles with his ex-wife and the scandal and rumors that follow the famous actor, we wonder how strong this bond will prove to be. Will Inez be the next Mrs. Pitt?